Hello everyone and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. Tonight a Northwest Suburban Conference matchup as the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Champlain Park Rebels. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines for this one and Shapiro another tough task for the home squad of very talented Champlin Park team across the net. Yeah, Rebels come in at 14 and three, and this is a team that uh, dominates their opponents. I was looking through some of their past scores, and and they win they win easily sometimes in three. So you're right, Coon Rapids is going to have their work cut out for them. There you see John Yunker, head coach for the Rebels. It's block out cancer night, so a lot of neon. Coach Janine Crooks sporting the blue block out cancer yep, shirt. Like, yep, love that. Love the fact Got a that lot of neon pinks and greens and yellows and purples. It's such a great cause. In the building. Both teams united in the fight. Wore the shirts for warm ups. I got a, a uh, pink bracelet. I don't know if it was intended for me, but I took it anyway. Came up this way. I'll wear it proudly. Saraya Rai, the one who shot yep. that your way. Could be that her family is right behind us. Right Maybe behind it didn't make us. it and I just stole it. <laughs> so sorry about that, but I'm taking it. It's a, I appreciate it. Cardinals will start with the serve. Seda Green at the line for Coon Rapids, and this one ready to be underway. Picked up by Moberg. Tack in the middle is very long for Hansen, and Coon Rapids gets the first point of the night. Well, we talked about, too, that, I mean, this is really important for the Cardinals to see if they can they most definitely have to stay even if they can or right with them, but if they can jump out to a lead, put a little pressure on, and get a little confidence. I think that's going to be so important for them this evening. Green going to the back corner. Picked up by Strummel. The attack shut down by the Cardinals. Madison Fowler and Bella Bresnahan both there to close the door. Well, they timed that block perfectly. And what a great point for the Cardinals. They'll work in the middle again, this time just tipping it over was Hansen. Cardinals set up for Bresnahan on the right side near the back corner. Moberg is there. Tack coming from Hansen, way too long. Andrew Madden starts with the first three. Well, Joe, this is exactly what they needed. I mean, this is exactly the confidence boost that they needed. I mean, they know coming in there, Champ Park's 14 and three. Set goes to the right side. Hansen pushing it toward the back corner. Wilbur picks it up. The attack coming from Shevchuk. Snuck between the block attempt. Left side attack from Hansen. Cardinals trying to scramble the return. Punched over by Wilbur. Attack coming, a soft tap. A diving save by Seda Green. Attack by Shevchuk was picked up. And the sneaky set by Allison Kopp throws it to the floor and ends a little rally going back and forth. Yeah, the Cardinals didn't expect that one, but that was uh, you know exactly what they wanted. Jumped out to a little bit of a lead here, but just a really nice point there for the Rebels to get the serve. Shevchuk attack through the back line. Moberg is there. The set to the right side. Attack for Schmidt picked up by Wilbur. Fowler will pass it across. Setting in the attack and kill in the middle for Lily Reese. Last time we were here, we saw Coon Rapids take on Rogers, another very fine volleyball squad with a similar record to Champa Park. So it'll be interesting to see a parallel between how they play, played Rogers and this team from Champa Park. Moberg serving. And a tough receive for Shevchuk. Sent it over near the scorer's table. Good effort by Green, but the Cardinals not able to get it back across. We're even at three apiece. Cross court attack from Bresnahan too wide. And Champlin Park will continue to roll up 4 3.
Wilbur from midcourt. Easy pass from Kopp. The set, the attack from Hanson long again. Yeah, we've seen a couple, of, all. a couple of tempted kills from that part of the court for Tampa Park going long. And the uh, Rebels able to erase that 3-1 lead. Set, a left side attack is solid for Ellie Schmidt. No chance for the Cardinals to get under it. Quick side out. Yep, nice point there. Tyra Pavasek checking in for the Cardinals. Carly Gilk on the floor for Champlin Park. At the service line now, Marley Hansen. Wilbur had that one get away from her a little bit. The Cardinals again off a tough serve receive. Not able to get it across. Champlin Park up 6-4. But again, it's just a matter of staying, staying close. That's their goal here. Bresnahan off the fingertips. Champlin Park sets back up for Schmidt. That got through the block. She'll get the kill. 7-4 the lead for Champlin Park. Fowler got a good piece of it. Just good timing by Schmidt to outweigh the block. Hanson serve, received by Wilbur. She'll get the attack. Therefore, it is Mulbert in close to the net. A pass by Kopp, and they just have to pass it over. Bresnahan attacking. Solid stave from Kopp. Big left-handed attack from Gilk. Cardinals set back up. Seda Green toward the backcourt. Hanson picks it up. Set for Gilk again with the left hand. That's off the top of the net. And the Cardinals will get the serve back. Yeah, I'm not sure that's, that uh, set was quite where she needed it to be. She's going to miss hit, hit it into the net. Good defense there from yep. Fowler and Wilbur, but not needed as they caught the top of the tape. Huge left-handed kill for Gilk in the middle. Yeah, she, she, leads, she leads the team in kills. And that was just a quick set from Kopp, and Gilk took care of it. Always good to get that right after the miss hit into the net. Yep. Reese Axness serving. Wilbur is there. Set will go to Bresnahan. Rebels will set up Gilk again off the block and another kill. Well, in this part, this is a point where the Cardinals have to be careful here. 9 5 lead now for the Rebels. And they're looking to use their dominance to continue to build. But that that's what the Cardinals needed to get that uh, missed serve and get the point and the service back. Saraya Rai checking in, giving Green a break. Bresnahan is the service line for Coon Rapids. Moberg picks it up. Gilk on the attack again. Faviseth picks it up. Wilbur got through the block. She gets the kill. And the Cardinals dig into that lead a little more. Oh, exactly, uh, exactly the course. Brezan serve picked up by Gilk. On the attack is Kirpak. Cardinals able to set up for Rye. Not a lot on that attack. Champlin Park trying to get it to Gilk, but that was a little out of position, so just passed across. Cardinals set up Wilbur. Too much on that one. And the side out back to Champlin Park. Yeah, we've seen Wilbur pound it to the floor from that side in the past, and, but as he mentioned, a little too much mustard on that one. It gives the Rebels a 10-7 lead with the serve. Thought that was going to go out, but it drops in. Good placement from Lily Reese. Gets the ace. Wilbur will pick it up this time. Mid little attack by Califoot, and that one into the net for Gilk again. 
Uh, miss, miss hit by, by the Rebels there, and again, keeping it close, 11-8. Set in the middle, punched over the left hand by Adler, and found the soft spot in the defense for the point. And the Rebels quickly get the service back. Gilk's service well long. Easy take for the Cardinals. Well, it could serving for Coon Rapids. Set up for Hanson. Hanson fires long. The Cardinals just need to keep it close. Obviously, don't let too many streaks build up for Champlain Park, but they need some streaks of their own they if, do. They, if they really want to threaten. Another big middle kill for Catherine Adler. Well, you know, a couple of lefties. I was watching, you know, the one bad thing about the blackout cancer uh, warm ups was I couldn't tell who was who. Right. What I did notice is Champlain Park has a couple of, couple three girls with very strong left handed attacks, which is a, a great asset to any volleyball program. Pushed over by the Cardinals. Hanson attacking. This one's going to go off the basketball net, and the Cardinals not able to track it down. Well, both uh, Carly Glick has 161 kills on the season, and Marley Hanson 143. The next closest is Claire Caswell, who's unfortunately not playing tonight. She has 98. An ace for Allison Kopp as she spun it right to the hole in the middle of the Cardinals. Builds that lead back up to five. Goes for that same pla place, passed across by Wilbur, set up in the middle, and the kill for Adler. Yeah, we were, we were watching them do that in, in warm-ups, and, and they do a really nice job of passing the ball and, and pounding it to the floor. Wilbur there on the serve receive, lie on the attack. Champlain Park will turn it around. Hanson has the kill. And that's yeah. her first. She's struggled. She's got three or four that she's fired long when she's been in good position. Well, As you it. mentioned, one of their leaders in that attacking category. So for Coon Rapids to see her start to heat up would not be good. Yeah. Definitely not. Serve into the net for Cobb gives the Cardinals a side out, but largest lead of the night so far for Champlain Park at 17-11. Well, really at 17-10, but six points, the difference as we approach the late part of this first set. It's tapped across by Adler. Cardinals set up Bresnahan. Moberg is there. Set for Hansen. Got there a little late. Shevchuk able to pick it up, set for Bresnahan. Kopp is there to receive. Attack on the right side, and that's just long for Ellie Schmidt. So it'll be Coon Rapids point. Yeah, it did miss by much, and it looked like it was just about going to touch that back line, but just a little bit long. Set in the middle, Hansen taps it to the soft spot, finds a hole. Gets that ball right back. Like real estate. Location, location, <laughs> exactly. location. Exactly. Set in the middle and power from Lily Reese for the kill. Yeah, nice point there for Champa Park as they're opening up this lead, 19-12. All 
almost carried Green into the net, but did not. Turn and the fired wide by Hansen. Now here's the important part of this first set for the Cardinals, see if they can go on a bit of a run. Because they're gonna, they, they need it. They need it now. In the middle, big stuff Point from number 11. Hansen from the right side, one-handed save by Green. Great effort from Chef Chuck, but it ends up in the seats. Well, Cardinals definitely keeping it close, within six. Marley Hansen at the service lineup, six, 2014, and she fires long. Top setting in the middle. Gil finds can. that sideline. Yeah, touched it. Some of the substitutions for the Rebels. Axness at the service line. 21-15, the score in favor of Champlin. Bresnahan attacks. Hansen there to pick it up. Set goes for Kerpot. She's blocked, but able to save it. Hansen puts it back in play on the Cardinals' side. Wilbur attacking too long. And it's a point, Rebels. Well, the Rebels look to see if they can close it out here, up 22-15. Green just punches it over dangerously close to the net. Kerpak tips it over the block and to the floor. Yeah, beautiful placement. Just had enough on it to go over that front line block attempt by Coon Rapids and fall, fall to the floor. is too far. So Ray Rye will check back in. Give the Cardinals a little more presence up front with Bresnahan doing the serving. Gilk attacking long. Well, a couple of points here to close it back to six. You know, and the Cardinals have to feel pretty good about how they're playing here in this first set. Kerbach plays it across. That one too close, goes right off the top of the net. Passed across by Wilbur. Gilk taps it through the defense, and it'll be set point, Champlain Park. Gil, too much. Yeah, just a little bit too much power on that one. Wilbur to serve and no pressure. You need six points without giving up one. Hansen passes across for Champlin Park. Cardinals set up for Tatum Chevchuk. Blocked by Gilk. And that will give set number one to Champlin Park by a 25-18 score. We'll take a short break and be back with more from Roger E. Carlson after this. You're watching CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. When I never graduated from high school, I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. 
with the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished, it made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Back at Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. Cardinals able to hang around throughout set one. The Champla Park holds on for a 25-18 win. Ken Rapid started with the first three points of the set. The Champla Park took its first lead at 4-3 and never trailed again. Cardinals kept it pretty close through, really throughout. Champla Park with quite a few hitting errors that allowed the Cardinals to keep the score close. But uh, it's got to give you a little bit of confidence if you're the Cardinals that you can play with this team. It really does, and the fact that that was so close has to make them feel pretty good. But at this point, um, you know, we, you know, you, you, you've got to maybe maintain that kind of energy here in the second set, because you talked about it, they lost, uh, our Chapel Park gave Cooper Rapids some points. They may not do that here in the second set, so we'll see how that unfolds. Allison Kopp and the Rebels will have the first serve here in the second set. And it's into the net. Well, Cardinals will take that. They'll start with uh, that opportunity here up 1 0, now serve. Just a matter of keeping it close. Sada Green's serve picked up. Hansen attacking in the middle as the kill. And it, I don't know how accurate it is, but Yund officially, of course. I had Champlain Park with 14 kills to the one for the Cardinals in that first set. Attack, but a good, solid block really from solid. Willie Reese. The attack from Wilbur coming near midcourt, and Reese timed it perfectly, shut it down. Got a good crowd here for really? lockout cancer. Absolutely. Hanson right inside the back line. Wait, so it's like he dropped it there perfectly. What was that thing in real estate? Location, location, location. That's the Fowler got on top of it a little too much. Puts it into the net. Punched back into play by Green. Played across by Wilbur. Hansen on the attack, another kill. So talked about she had some miss hits in that first set, really, I think had two kills in set number one. She's already got three here early in set number two. Well, and that, that'll be the difference between this first and second set is if they can control those, those unforced errors that they gave up. Making sure they got the right rotations on the floor. It's a 5-1 lead for Champlain Park here in set number two. Wilbur didn't get the angle she needed. Well, you don't want to give the Rebels too big a lead. Especially this early. Yeah. Cardinals are going to take a very early timeout. Yeah, that trailing surprise 6 -1. me. And I think it's a good timeout. 
coach, you know, deciding that look, this is a good opportunity for us to just kind of settle things down, talk about what we want to do. Our, they know they're playing a really good squad in Champlain Park, and, and they kept it close in that first. They want to do so here in the second, so an early timeout is good strategy. Yeah, there's a good crowd as we're yeah. taking a look at them. But uh, not quite. I remember years ago, <laughs> the, the crowds Packed. here at Roger E. Carlson, they, they got really big for both volleyball and, and especially basketball. Yep. Yeah, this, uh, this place was rocking. This, this is one of the better turnouts yep. we've seen for a volleyball yeah, contest absolutely. in several years. And we are... We are discussing something with the official Champlain Park coach, John Yonker, over there, making sure the right people are on the floor in the right spots. According to the puppet, I must have said something funny because we both laughed after that. I'm not sure what it was, though. Well, they edited it out because of the content. Yeah. It was yeah. edited for content. Yeah, exactly. Which is not surprising coming out of <laughs> your dummy. It, it, right, exactly. Moberg on the serve. Bresnahan attacking. And another big block in the middle by Reese. Yeah, our puppets, uh, the guys did a great job. Our puppets ended up winning a first place at Natoa. Nice award for that. And immediately, and immediately, Joe Young, they got a raise in pay. It's like, how does that happen? We never did. What's a raise? Yeah, exactly. The attack got through the block a little bit. Reese, not a ton on that attack coming back. Bresnahan will find the floor and get the side out for the Cardinals. Well, and the Cardinals needed that. Hansen again goes to the changeup. Saw the defense coming. Instead, just popped it over a little bit. It was effective. Gets the point. And gets the serve right back as well. Carly Gilk checks back in. We saw how dangerous she can be in set number one. Hansen at the service line. Faviseth is there. Faviseth, a long pass, but it will not reach the net. Well, so far, what you're not seeing, for the most part, from Champlain Park are those errors that they had in the first set. And there's an ace for Marley Hansen. And I think both of her services in the first it was one serve, and it was too long. Right. So putting him where she needs to now, trying to keep this roll going. Bresnahan is stopped at the net. Cardinals go to the other side. Dropped over by Michaela Wilbur. Wilbur saw Hanson do it, says, I can do that too. Very, very smart play by Wilbur. So she saw that, that front line block go up, and all she had to do, once they came down a little bit, all she had to do was put it over the top of them. Set in the middle, Gilt gets the kill. She put some hot sauce on that one. Addison Kapitsky checking in. Oh, and an ace oh, for Reese Axness. That one's too long. Again, the Cardinals needed that big lead here for Champlain Park, 12-4 in set number two. Already up one set to nothing. Oh. 
Set and a kill for Reese. They waste no time getting the side out right back. No, they didn't. They do a really nice job on serve received yep. right to the setter, and she's got weapons at her disposal. And they are spreading it around and doing so nicely. That one passed too far back, and Adler just slaps it back to the floor. A 10-point lead for Champlin Park. Yeah, again, just good timing, nice placement. Set for Wilbur, waited for it to come down, and it was outside the yeah. post. There's the service error, but it's the service errors are in game number, set number two, are keeping the score a little closer this time, already with a 10-point lead here. Michaela Wilbur serving for the Cardinals. Moberg picks it up in the middle, pushed by Adler. Willick was there, and a big stuff at the line on the attack by Shevchuk. Gill heads to the service line after getting the block that earned the side out. Shevchuk pushes it across, and it was touched by the Rebels, so that'll be Cardinal Point. Makes it 16-6. Let's see, one off. Hanson. Walitka serving. Picked up Hansen on the attack, blocked by Fowler. Rye was there as well. Cardinals trying to set up Soraya Rye, and she's blocked by Adler. Yeah, just couldn't get the angle on it that she wanted to just hit the top of the tape. Attacked by Rye, Cop is there. Played over by Schmidt. Fowler in the middle, stuffed by Hanson. Yeah, great timing by Hanson, able to get the block. Pushes the lead to 12, 18 to six. Oh, it was actually uh, Adler that got yeah. there first. They'll both get yeah. half a... Cardinals thought that one was going out, but Allison Cott gets another ace. Stretches the lead to 13. Shevchuk on the attack. Moberg there to pick it up. Long set for Hansen. She gets the kill. Now, uh, Temple Park just five points away from getting set number two. Another ace for Allison Kopp. 15 point lead, four points from another victory. Rye on the attack, Cop picks it up. Set up for Schmidt, she gets the kill. Nice diving attempt by Wilbur near the back line, but. Yeah, Wilbur tried to stretch out and save that one, but not able to do so. That served by Cop too long. Sada Green and Bella Bresnahan back in. Green will go to the service line. If they ever needed a streak, it's right now. Yes, absolutely. 
Wilbur gets it to Green. Wilbur on the attack didn't get the touch she wanted. Yeah, again, just uh, not, not enough on that. Moberg serve, therefore it is Shevchuk. She'll attack. Too long, it'll be set point. Yeah, I tried to see what she could do about getting to the back line, but put a little bit too much on it. And an ace for Moberg will end it. A convincing victory in the second set, 25-7 in favor of Champlin Park. And they'll have a chance to get the brooms out when we come back. The Cardinals fighting to force a fourth. You're watching high school high school volleyball on CTN. Hey, Dad. I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I, um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. Champlin Park with a commanding lead now. They uh, they left no doubt in set number two. There was no question from the very beginning that they were uh, going to take control. They jumped out to a 7-1 lead and just kept growing that lead right up to the 25-7 finish. And now they have the Cardinals facing elimination as we get ready to start the third set. Uh, and, and the Cardinals don't want to start off the way they did in the first, in the second set by trailing large. And that's something that they're trying to avoid here in set number three if they want to keep this alive. Bresnahan attacking, Moberg is there. The set goes to Hansen the other way, partially blocked by Fowler. Cardinals set it up. Fowler pushes it away from the defense. Nice diving save by Stremel, passed across by Hansen. Cardinals set up Bresnahan. Rebels to Hansen. She fires long. It went off, it went off a Cardinal. And they say, yes, they yep. got a piece of a Cardinal. So a kill for Hansen. Side out and a serve for Sarah Moberg. Not the prettiest of returns, but the no. Cardinals able to get it back across, but huge kill for Lily Reese. A quick point for Champlin Park. Bresnahan puts it across. The attack was Schmidt. Green is there. Set up for Bresnahan right side. Got it through the block for the kill. To get the point for Coon Rapids. Yeah, when the, and that's and that's good. You just you cut the lead in half at two one, it's early. But again, we talked about in that like in that first set, doing a good job of keeping it close. Go back in the middle. And that was a solid kill from yep. Lily Reese. From where we're sitting, it looked like it might be wide, but inside the line and no chance for the Cardinals to defend on that. Caitlin Erickson coming in to take over at the service line for Champlin Park. 
Well, at this spot, I believe in set two, they went on a bit of a run and they get the first point here with service. An ace for Erickson. It's a good sliding attempt by yep. Tyra Favisev. Favisev passes that one right back across. The setup goes to Gilk. It's inside the line again and crossing, uh, attacking cross court and doing so effectively. A 4 1 lead for Champlain Park here in the third. 5 1. Sorry. And a bit of a carry yep. for the Cardinals. Brezan passes it across, diving save. And the kill on the left, or on the right side. Yeah, was, I mean, the save, save yeah, obviously got that point for Champlin Park. They were able to keep it in play and then hit to the floor. Not sure how much Erickson has played in the first two sets, but she came in to start this service. She's got now two aces. And that diving dig yep. that the Rebels were able to turn into a point. Lead is at seven. This one pass straight back across. Setup goes for Gilk. Got there a little late. Cardinals able to recover, yeah, but stepped across yeah. the line. Third ace of this service for Erickson. Sophomore trying to get the coach's attention a little bit, maybe. He's got she's gotten the attention of the Cardinal coach who calls the timeout, her team trailing 10-1. Yeah, this is what they did not want to happen in this in this uh, third set is get down big, and they are 10 to 1. Something they were trying to accomplish. Or did, or maybe they weren't. No, hurt? they were. I oh, think I they wiped off out. some. Uh, there was some moisture on the floor. So no timeout. Service continues for Erickson. This one's long. Well, it may not have been a timeout, but no, it's it worked exactly, out well for Twin Rapids. Exactly what you want from the timeout. Exactly. Break some rhythm. Get the side out. Madison Fowler serving for the Cardinals. Therefore, it is Erickson set up in the middle, tipped over by Gilk. Going to the floor for it was Wilbur, attacked by Bresnahan, a diving attempt by Erickson, but a kill for Bresnahan. And don't call it a comeback. Right. Cardinals trail 310 here in set number three. Schmidt fires long. Well, this uh, Cardinal now 10-4. This one they want to do is chip away here. They're fighting for the right to stay in this. Passed across by Moberg. Set up for Bresnahan. Rebels able to recover. That's set too far. Poked across by Wilbur smartly for the point. Yeah, again, just a, a, a good job by the Cardinals to realize where the weakness was and they're able just to poke it back across the net and get the point 10-5. Gilk in the middle finds the back corner. And you can see, you know, on, you can see her studying the defense before she goes up yeah. for the attack knowing Am I going to put the power, or am I going to finesse to the to the weak spot in their defense? Attack from Wilbur too long. On the Rebels get a couple of points back. Service. 
Serve into the net for Axness will give the Cardinals a side out, trailing by six. Bella Bresnahan will head to the service line for the Cardinals. In the oh. middle, it's right, it's uh, Reese. That quick set, they've got a couple of girls in. She put a little chili powder on that one as he pounded it to the floor. Reese now at the service line, picked up by Michaela Wilbur. Wilbur overshoots the end line. Walitka picks it up. The attack in the middle is shut down by Adler. Yeah, just, you know, again, that's great timing. Chloe Hoffman put some good power into it, but right into the teeth of the defense. And an ace for Reese. Makes the lead 10. Cardinals trying, fans trying to turn the energy. Lick it there to receive. There's just no a, one for support. Yeah, a little miscommunication there on what was going to happen. Cardinals are going to call. This is where Cardinals will call timeout, trailing 17 to six here in set number three, and obviously they're eight points away from elimination. Yeah, it's been did you check a, your, a growing check your year. Tickets? Yeah, I did not. You should. You might win it's something. been a growing year for the young program under first-year head coach yes. Janine Crooks. It, it has been. And those guys, they've grown so popular in such a short time. Yep. They have more followers on uh, Twitter than we do. I can believe that. Drop the mic. So Reese continues to serve with a 17-6 lead. Has a couple of aces in this service to help extend that lead again. Reese goes to the floor, diving save. Fredrickson there to pick that one up. Wilbur waiting on it, will play it across. Near the back line is Erickson. This one set up, huge power from McKenna Thorup. She hammered that. Wiping up a little bit uh, oh, yeah. on the Cardinals' side of the court again. That one passed right back across. Reese is there. This setup goes to Thorup again, and she gets another kill. Well, after a 25-18 first set, Champlin Park dominating the second 25-7. And now putting up a similar score here in the third, up 20 to six after another race for Lily Reese. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was after that first second, that first set where Cardinals kept it close, Champlin Park is uh, pulling away in both set two and three. Wilbur near the back line. Set will go for her. Too close to the net. Poked down by Thora, but the Cardinals poked it right back over with Hoffman. Not a lot on that by it. Gill. Oh, I thought she touched. She go underneath the. Uh, let's, let's see what there was some touching of must the net, been. perhaps. Must have been. I thought they called her for the carry, but no, we'll take that. Cardinals with the point. Attack and another kill for Thorup. Another player that really wasn't on the floor the no. first two sets. 
gets her opportunity and is jumping on, say, hey, coach. Put me in. I need some more PT. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. But yeah, they, they the Rebels, you, you watch them in practice and just how many girls they have with big, strong attacks. Attack from Hoffman, shut down in the middle. Thorup there along with Adler. Kylie Stremmel at the service line. Will lick his pass up near the net. Diving save by Shevchuk. Rye passes it across. Comes another attack from Thorup. This time plays it into the net. A great job to keep that ball alive by the Cardinals and able to get the point out of it. Emma Walitka goes to the service line. Set in the middle. Big stuff by Fowler. Diving save, though. Hansen's attack picked up by Wilbur. Passed across by Fowler. In the middle, pushed across by Adler. And Adler made it difficult on Walitka. Uh, now the uh, Rebels will be serving with just two points away from capturing this match. Twenty-three, eight. The lead is Allison Kopp goes to the service line. Wilbur picks it up. The set's going to go for Rye. Rye is stuffed by Hansen and Adler. A number of blocks for Champlin Park yes. in the match here tonight as well. So strong offensively and defensively. I've got him for double-digit aces as well. This one tipped over and just wide. And that is the match. Oh, she smartly Champlin Park. She smartly watched that one. Watched, didn't want to play it, realizing that that one was going to go out. And that was a good be, thought on yep. the part of Olivia Fredericks. I like catch him off guard, but just wide of the line. And uh, the Rebels make relatively quick work. 25-18, so But we've been glad to be here and yes, be a part have. of it. Yes, we are. No Friday, uh, no Friday night football this week, so we have more volleyball for you next Tuesday. That's our next event. And then we'll have football on the road against Andover on Friday the 8th. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, it's... Champlain Park at 3, 25-18, 25-7, 25 I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.